All right, so we have so far learned how to <coughs> fetch the data using data pages. That is read only. Um, read only. Then we learned how to use savable data page. to update record, update existing record. Now we are going to learn how to insert a new record using Savable Data Page. <coughs> um, well, actually, <coughs> you need to generate the customer ID and all those stuff. So let's see. This is our submit uh, application, okay? I'm going to remove the property reference now. We will use directly the data pages. <clears throat> so currently this is the update customer detail, right? We were doing that directly with the update. And uh, whenever we are setting this, we in the data page, because we are directly going to use the data page, we don't need to copy the data. Uh, copy the data into the customer property. We will be directly using so I'm going to disable this <coughs> Okay, we will directly use the data page all right, and this is also not needed. Let's disable this but The savable data page that we configured right now uh, that we have configured at the moment is actually fetching the record from the table first okay and then it is saving it back after the update for the new record we will not have that data insert already inserted in this data page so if i use the same savable data page it will give me error okay that data does not exist so for the new record we will have to construct that record again we will have to use savable data page only so i'm going to create a new data page that I will name as new customer again it will be of the ABC customer class only see we are going to insert a new record in the customer we will have to pass the customer ID as a parameter. That's primary key that has to be there, okay? Even for the new records, it has to be there. This time, we are not going to get it from the lookup because the data is not there. So we are going to construct the data. We are going to run a data transform that will populate the data page with just the customer ID and rest of the data will be inserted from the screen. So I'm going to create a data transform that will set the CID on the data page from the parameter. So I will add the parameter in this one as well. CID. It will read the value whatever you will pass as a parameter and set it on the data page. I will have to pass the parameter in this one as well in this data transform the same parameter okay and I will have it savable so let mark it savable so see when you call this data transform you will pass the customer ID the data transform will be initiated sorry you, the data page will be initiated using data transform and only customer ID will be set the first name last name everything else you will have to populate from the screen okay and once the data is available, it will still use the save data page. Sorry, save uh, database save to save that. So we have this. Let's run it to see if it is working. If I provide any customer data, C3, C4, one anything, let's see if that is getting updated on the C. CID is getting updated on the data page. Rest of rest of the information has to be provided on the screen. All right. Now let's come to our section. This section is using the existing data page. So it should only be visible when the customer is existing. If the customer is existing, so we will set the visibility when rule. 
I'll create a when rule. Okay, uh, is old customer. If it is old customer, so this is a condition basically that is stored. When rule is a condition that is predefined. So I'm creating a when rule is old customer. A customer will be old when when the value of this is true, right? The value of this field is true. That means the customer is old. One second this field so this field is new customer is new customer if it is set to uh, are you existing customer with us if true then it is existing otherwise false means new so this is old customer that we are trying to create a when rule right so when I'll go to the advanced tab to access all the properties so when the value of new customer is not equal to true then it is old customer okay Let's come back to this one so this section will be visible when this is an old customer so visibility visible when rule let's configure that if it is old customer for the new customers, I'm going to configure the same section using the new data page, the new customer data page. So again, embed section, same section, but with a different data page. A, B, C, data, sorry, A, B, C, O, P, S, data. customer the data page is new customer it still needs to have that value customer id will be passed and the section is going to be the same but this is a new customer okay so this will show us the new customer so new customer should be visible when visibility when rule new customer so we already have that property new customer equal to equal to true this is boolean we can directly specify that but let's just specify it as a condition okay when it is true then it should be visible good now when it is a new customer guys we will not have a customer id so we will have to create the customer id when it is a new customer so i'm going to run a data transform whenever you are changing new or old set reset first id so when the value of new sorry what was the property name when new customer is true then we need to generate a customer id okay a new customer id has to be generated then we will set customer id so i can generate using a function okay there is generate id function okay, i'll use this generate id now it needs a prefix so i'll use c as prefix and it will generate a id randomly let's test it see see this see that it will generate so it will generate a new customer id but when it is not new customer we will have to reset that otherwise remove the customer id because then sub customer has to provide that okay so this is the data transform we called from here let's save it now in the flow action
we will have to conditionally save this should be saved only when this is old record if it is old customer then you save the ex existing customer data page okay if it is new record then add another data page update sorry new customer d underscore new customer this should be done when it is not old it is new customer okay so we will create a new when rule one more when rule just save as the existing when rule and say is new cust customer will be considered new and the value of this is true so So this is going to be executed when the new customer is there then we will say try to save new data page we should not save both right it could be at one time it could be either new or existing let's save is let's test it so when you say false then it is existing customer when you say true then you should see that the customer id is removed and new customer id is generated let's look at the page clipboard page true okay customer id is still the same okay let's try that out let's add a record new first add a dob email home okay let's try to submit this okay let's look at the clipboard py work page it is still having the old cust id that means it did not remove it that's the problem they will see uh we are still running update did we not save it sorry t underscore new customer t underscore new customer okay it overread and cid was not reset let's see so one customer id that is okay look at this we are running the data transform on the change set or reset when it is new customer then we are saying generating a new otherwise we are removing the customer id so it should have widely removed it that means this condition did not run properly okay let's test it one more time um let me save this i think i did not save it <coughs> let's create a new case and actually in this section the customer detail section let uh, let's add a customer id as well so that we know what customer id is getting generated so some app new customer new customer this is okay is old customer is okay uh submit loan application this one section and i'm adding on one more field here that will be data display read only basically and text let's bring it on the top and this is the customer id that we will show should be read only always either will be generated by the system or or entered by the user let's create a new case okay 
so if i say true okay so it is generating a new customer now good let's insert record Submitted. Now this time, new customer is generated with the correct ID, and it should be sent into the database table. A new record has been inserted okay now let's test with the existing customer okay let's see if that got updated Where is the customer record? It is still not reflecting. Yeah. So now we have one form where we are updating the existing customers and inserting the new customer record. Okay. So this is how we can leverage new. Uh, basically sorry saveable data page to insert a new record as well this demo actually concludes that